just what's left after. So if you can imagine there's wastewater from businesses and homes coming into the wastewater treatment facility and everything that's washed off the street too. So uh, that comes into the plant and they're trying to do two things. They're trying to separate the water from the solids so they can cleanse the water and discharge it back into the harbor. And they're trying to take the solids and they're Eagle trying street to West street. reduce their mass. So this is Eagle Street tanks, rooftop farm. So the sludge is basically all the solids that are coming out of there that can't either okay. be kind of skimmed off. Um, and so they're going to tear this down once they uh, once they uh, once they dredge the mouth of the creek. So the Army Corps is going to dredge the mouth of the creek so the new DEP boat can get in all the way to the plant and load the sludge on that way. So we'll tear this down. And this will be to the what? To the, yeah, exactly. Yeah. And, but the boats are. Our new boats and they can't get into the creek because they have a deep draft, so they got to dredge the bow. But that means they'll be grazing the bridge up a lot? Uh, that probably will be the case, yeah. So there'll be more traffic if you're trying to go over the bridges. So where does it go now that there's no near fertilizer? So I'm not sure what happens to it now. Uh, it could still go as landfill cover. There is a contract out, the city has a contract out to find somebody who's going to take this, what they're calling beneficial, I think beneficial solids. Uh, uh, that's a good question. I, I don't know. I mean, I, it has to be liquid enough to be able to be pumped. So I'm not sure. All right. Let's keep going.